Hello friends! I'm glad you're here again! And I thought I will leave my stars up because the story I want to tell you today continues from last week from Abraham and Sarah. Remember them? Remember all the stars that God had promised them that they would have as many kids as they could count stars and that could be a lot of kids right so are you excited to hear about the story for this week i hope you do because it's a fun one now i'm wondering do you think waiting is hard well i think so this story with abraham and sarah you might guess already that there was a lot of waiting in this story, so let's hear it. And the story is written in the book of Genesis, Genesis 18, verses 1 to 15. Abraham's Visitors One hot summer afternoon, Abraham was sitting outside his tent when three visitors walked up to him. Abraham welcomed them. The visitors sat down while Sarah made a meal for them. While the visitors ate the meal, they asked Abraham, Where is your wife Sarah? Abraham, Sarah, uh, Abraham said, Sarah is in the tent. One of the visitors says, said, I will come back next year and Sarah will have a new baby. Sarah heard the visitor and she left. The visitor said, I do not know why you laugh, Sarah, because nothing is too hard for God to do. Well, this story is super interesting, right? Because Abraham is the super nice host. Now, are you nice when people come visit? I hope you do because it is something really fun to have visitors. He did not know those three men, but one of them was really interested to think, interested in ask where his wife Sarah was. And he said, oh, she's in a tent preparing food. And when the man says, well, she's gonna have a baby, she heard him and said, ha ha, that's funny because I have been waiting for so long. I don't think that's gonna happen. And he says, do not laugh because this will be true. Because God had promised that Abraham and Sarah would have many kids, remember? So what makes you laugh? What is that brings you joy? How do you feel when you have to really wait for something you want really badly? It's hard to wait. I think for me it is, maybe for you it isn't, but usually it's hard to wait for things we want. But Sarah always had hope because God had promised her. So our faith is like a rock, right? Sometimes you can hold on to it and you really trust in it. Other times you feel like you have nothing because it's hard to wait. But we've God, we know that God, the Lord carried out what he had promised. We know that with God, our faith is strong and solid like a rock. And maybe even Sarah laughing was a way of saying, ha, okay, great, I have hope. So this week, I invite you to look for rocks. See how many rocks can you find or see if you can find one cool rock. I bet you can because there are always some super awesome rocks around. I know I can find some. Get a rock, touch it and feel how strong and hard a rock can be. And ask God that your faith may, may be as hard as the rock which means you're always going to have faith and it's going to be strong 
and sturdy. Now, how about we end with a prayer? Dear God, please help me to be strong in my faith, like a rock is strong. Amen. I wish you all a wonderful and faithful week and that you have fun. Don't forget to laugh a bit. See you next time. Bye, friends.